We are so happy that you're here with us on Colorado & Company. I'm Amelia Earhart. My next guest is a comedian and podcaster who's a regular on the Joe Rogan Experience. And he hosts his own popular podcast, The Duncan Russell Trussell, The Duncan Trussell Family Hours. Starting tonight, he'll be head headlining over at Comedy Works downtown in Larimer Square all the way through Saturday. So I want to welcome Duncan here to the show Hi. this morning. Good Hi. morning, my Thanks friend. Thanks for having me. We're so excited to have you here. You've Thank got you. Such a unique personality, unique mm. vibe that comes across on your podcast. I've been given a little listen and checked out some of your stuff on your Instagram page. What's the real basis behind the mood of your show? What can people expect? Well, you know what? To answer that question, it's so weird to me, the synchronicity that you had a ballerino here right before me. Are you a ballerino? I used to be one. No, are you kidding? I'm me? not kidding. That's what blows my mind. And, you know, it, t these things happen all the time. But to answer your question, what informs my entire life yeah. is that I was in a ballerina accident like what they were talking about the peter pan thing <laughs> i did tinkerbell <laughs> i did tinkerbell did. and the rope snapped oh. and we had a real alligator and not a fake one i'm not and again right i'm not the saying job. they're using well <laughs> shoot off my toes and you can't peer your pirouette oh my gosh how's the prosthetic working out for you it's not i learned to walk on my heels <laughs> and it's agony every moment of my life is sharp pain and the grief of knowing i could have been one of the great I could have been one of the great ballerinos. Do you want to lay down on the couch and talk about it? I would love to <laughs> lay down on the couch <laughs> and weep. I bet you would. Thanks for getting up early and being here with us Oh, this my morning. pleasure. It's great to be you're here. staying up late for all these shows. Now, on your podcast, you get a little weird. You get a little philosophical. Mm -hmm. What can folks expect if they subscribe like I did? To the podcast? Yes. Well, I interview a lot of people who are, I interview witches and Satanists yeah. and Buddhists and spiritual leaders and comedians and undertakers. It's a, it's a buffet of interesting people, some of them with some pretty challenging ideas and some of them who are just beautiful, wonderful teachers of love and how to get into your heart from yeah. your head. And do you take some of that podcast content and work it into your shows when you come to spots like Comedy Works? You know, I think anything I do has been influenced by the podcast. You know, I think that's what's wild. I'm sure you've been changed by the interviews that you've done. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm yeah. sure this is transforming your life right now forever. <laughs> You'll never be the same after this. I mean, I might wear this sweater on the air tomorrow. You should. Well, we could trade. We could trade. All right. So I love <laughs> your outfit. Not going to lie. You look good in green. I might wear that tonight. <laughs> How does meditation? play into how you perform and, and how you go about life I know that's a big part of your you know your well-being and your self-care well you know it, most people's minds are like hornets nests yeah. but instead of hornets it's just demons swarming around in the form of these repeating habitual thought patterns sure. most folks no matter how happy they seem they're often really hard on themselves yeah. people brutalize themselves they wake up in the morning look in the mirror they can't believe that their face is essentially falling off and then they have to cover it with paint because they feel scared of the way they look and then they start beating themselves up for me Mindfulness meditation allows me to uh, not get caught by the thoughts that uh, swarm me when I look in the mirror and see my asymmetrical love handles and <laughs> bald spot and rapidly flourishing body hair and weird patterns hey, all over. I fully get that. I glue fake hair onto my eyes every single morning. Think about that. Wow, that's amazing. Nobody's I eyelashes are this, are this long, naturally. My nipples are growing eyelashes. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll check out our Instagram page for that exclusive <laughs> video later. Okay, so we have a fun little experiment. Karen was out in our Curiosity Cruiser with the Denver Museum of Nature and Science earlier, and they did this fun little taste test where apparently if you put a goji berry in your mouth, it's Colorado. This might not be an actual goji berry. Oh, let's go hope. ahead and uh, put it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and take a bite. And All I right. think you just sort of chew on it, suck it a little bit. All right. And we'll see if this, oh, we'll see if this lemon tastes sour like mm. it normally would once we put it. Oh, we have to wait 30 seconds. Am I going to wake up in a CIA prison after this? Hopefully. <laughs> so, hopefully I'm there with you. There's your lemon. Okay, so it's been in our mouth about 30 seconds, and according to Karen and the DMNS folks who have that beautiful bus out front, they say this should taste more like an orange. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's have you look right into the camera. Which camera Here we should go. you look into? There you go. Make eye contact. Go ahead. Put that whole lemon in your oh, mouth wait, and okay, give it a go. chew. Here we go. Don't try this at home, kids. You'll wake up under the or Denver you. airport. Oh, it's good. 
Holy cow, it's amazing. It is good. I feel like I could mm. just chomp on a whole lemon. Mm. This is just what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon in the mm. hotel room. Mm. Just finish out the segment. Just Delicious. Watching, watching you have so a lemon. So good. Okay, so now just carry goji berries and a fresh lemon around and surprise your friends. Entertain people on airplanes. Great idea. So if people are excited to come and see you, let's get the basics out of the way. What can, where can they come and, and which nights are you going to be at Comedy Works? Uh, I'm going to be at the Comedy Works tonight, tomorrow night, Saturday night. Some of the shows have sold out. Please come. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. Johnny Pemberton, also known as God's Hand of Justice, is going to be my feature act tonight. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Someone's probably going to get enlightened this weekend. It could be you. That's always a good thing. So real quickly, one of my favorite podcasts, Joe Rogan's podcast, I love listening to it. Why does he love you so much? Why do you guys get along so well? Well, you know, we've been friends for a long time. Like after I got dumped by my fiance, he let me oh. come live at his, at his house oh, nice. and like use his float tank for a month. I bet that helped. They've heard good things. It helped until he like said sometimes he pees in the float tank. But then it still helped because it's like, whatever. Go give him a lemon without the goji berry, okay? <laughs> right, Duncan, thank you so much for being My here. My pleasure. <laughs> you can catch Duncan Trussell live at Comedy Works in downtown Denver at Larimer Square. He's there tonight through Saturday, but these shows are selling out fast. So get your tickets today. Call 303-595-3637 or go online to ComedyWorks.com. Don't forget to download the Duncan Trussell Family Hour podcast. You can find that at DuncanTrussell.com.